ask you about that. Daniel Gafford said that you brought doctors to the facility and had or tried to have some teammates uh, try them. So how how that all come about? I think uh, bringing the Jewish uh, tradition um, is important, especially to our guys. That I don't think they uh, tasted or had uh, some Hanukkah uh, treats. But a uh, big shout out to our chef, uh, Steven, Antoine, the whole kitchen staff. Uh, they made it happen. So big shout out to them. Try it. Like oh, it. hell yeah. Everybody tried them. Some, some, some that tried them, they were like four or five. They took four or five. But, you know, I, I only stick with one because trying to regain my diet, you know. I guess on a related note, I saw the video of you uh, in Maryland yesterday. Yeah, um, right. On a celebration. Mm -hmm. uh, how did that come about? How did, how did you get invited and what was it like? So, uh, thanks to my agents, um, the guys from uh, Rockville, uh, the Jewish community reached out and they made all of this happen. And I was very glad that I saw how much love and um, the Jewish community uh, gives, gives give to me. And it was for me, uh, pure enjoyment to come come there meet everybody and, and really uh, share those special moments those small spe spe special moments with them so um yeah it was just nice what does it mean to you Danny to be in many ways an ambassador for, for Israel for me it means a lot uh, especially um, here in the United States, since I'm the only Israeli player in the league, it's very important for me. Um, but I can tell you, we have great athletes all over Israel that representing Israel also very nice. Um, I'm just I'm just trying to do my best, you know, uh, on the court, off the court, being a good good person, um, helping the community, and really give pride to my country. So, as you were growing up. You know, I, I saw what they did and like I knew one day I wanted to represent the country too and then and, and be on, on those levels. And it's something that I aimed from from a young age, but and I'm glad that I came here and I can do that also. So feels good. Your uh, rim protection has really stood out this year. Um, mm -hmm. Daniel Gabbard's the only guy blocking more shots than you. Um, how was that? <laughs> yeah, we'll give it to him. <laughs> yeah, well, well, you're second on the team. That's pretty good, though. How has that developed um, in your game? Because um, you know you already have more blocks than you did all of last season. Wow. Hey. Um, I'm just taking pride. Be honest with you. Stepping onto the court, um, trying to guard the best guys, trying to be uh, helping the the team to really protect the paint. Something that we West really um, gave a um, marker on, and I'm just I'm just playing with my heart. You know, in the end of the day, playing defense is uh, something that I like, um, and hopefully we can do great things, and I can uh, help uh, the team more and more. You're also um, blocking a lot more shots than you did in the Euro League. Mm -hmm. um, and I noticed um, there aren't a lot of blocked shots in the Euro League compared to the NBA. That's true. Um, what's your theory on why that is? I think the um, athleticism is um, less in Euro League than in the NBA. I think there's more athletic guys here. And I feel like, um, I don't know. Maybe in EuroLeague, they shoot more from outside and not a lot from the paint because the paint is really packed in Euro. And um, that's what I can guess, but I think beyond it. I'm just sorry, I'm looking, I'm, I'm not feeling well really. So sorry if I seem a little bit tired and stuff. You're doing great today. Thank you. Um, I uh, wanted to ask you because that. Daniel Gafford's a huge fan of Ludacris. He's going to perform after the game tonight. Oh, really? I'm wondering if, if he was in your orbit at all growing up in Israel. So, so Ludacris is the guy that uh, is, this, is the artist that um, performed with uh, Justin Bieber, Baby. Is that him? I think so, yeah. He was featured on it, right? Yes, sir. I think that's probably, like, I'm not, I didn't follow 
um, hip hop, uh, R and B, that much since um, I was in Israel. But um, I've heard about him before, and uh, I'm excited for Gaffer to um, be a part of his uh, concert tonight. So maybe you go on stage. We'll see. <laughs> How much do you look forward to learning your opponents even more in the years ahead? You haven't even played, I think, a, a full 82 game. That's true. I think that um, there's a lot of games that I feel like I don't have the experience. So, yeah, I missed this or I missed that. Or, um, But I, I think I'm, I'm going to be a better defender as the years go by, I'm going to be more experienced. I know this, I'll know the spots, I'll know the players. I feel like sometimes this year I had uh, brilliant defensive games and some less that um, guys made me more trouble, but I'm happy that those games happen because I can learn from it and I can be better. And I'm just expanding my uh, defensive game also. Also also an offense. I feel like if I'm going to be more experienced and with the years, my offensive role will grow and I'll be more comfortable and for sure it's something that I'm I'm really excited to to start doing. Last one for me. Mm -hmm. um, the other night uh, you checked out, it seemed like you were probably the most angry I've seen you uh, in, in the middle of the game with Thomas Bryant, Montrezl Harrell kind of you know, patting you on the back. Um, just what were you so, so mad about? It? it was a lack of communication between me and Daniel Gafford. It's not personally about him. It's not also like, it's not both of our fault it's not but um we just needed to communicate better i was angry because i i missed out on defense and um me and gafford talked about it you know or in the end of the day i'm guarding guys but in the end of the day i'm there to help my teammates and that teammates gonna be there to help me too i can't play defense alone and nobody in this team can play defense by himself everybody needs everybody in this team so that's why it's it's really important to have a co good communication, and I want to apologize for Gaff for being uh, for being angry like that. And um, we just learned from this. So, Christos, hello, Danny. How are you? How you doing? I'm fine, thank you. If you compare, your, if you could compare yourself. Uh, from last season until now, how better player you feel overall? I feel better. I feel like I'm stronger. I feel like I'm more experienced. Um, I'm getting less foul calls. Um, just all around, I feel like the game a little bit slowed down for me. Um, but I feel like every day I'm learning something new and every day I'm getting better offensively, defensively. Um, so I'm, I'm really, you know, that's my that's my goal to get better every day and every year to be better and better and better, and um, that's that's the goal of for me at least. And also all the adversities that you you had the, in the last months, how more major you made uh, made made you as a player and the, and most importantly as a person. As adversities. What's adversities? Injuries and stuff like that. Oh, I had. It. What do you mean, like the team injuries, or for, for me? No, your 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 injury. What At the end of last that? season. Oh, last season injury. I yeah. remember. Um, it made me strong because it had. I had time to really work on my body and really take the time off to work on my game, work on my mental health, work on my on my body, like I said, and um, I feel like everything is happening for a reason. And I think it, it was it was a good reason, like for me to learn more, to be there with my teammates, not playing, but to see, see them from the side and learn about a lot of things, learn how is it to play in the playoffs too. Um, you know, every injury just makes you stronger in the end of the day. Thank, thank, thank you very you. much, keep up. Thank you. Neil. Hey, Denny, um, I saw that you had the opportunity to take part in, you know, lighting of the candles yesterday. What, what did that mean to you? And, you know, how much were you able to interact with the Jewish community? First of all, like the, 
the love that the Jewish community uh, gave me, it's, it's unreal. Just coming there and seeing all the love and support and, and really, like I said, share those small moments. Uh, you far away from home, your friends, your family, they celebrate Hanukkah over there and really um, coming uh, and, and meeting the Jewish community and, and doing, doing this um, tradition together means a lot to me. Thanks, Danny. Hope you feel better. Thank you. Howard? So uh, along the same lines, Danny, do you have a favorite um, Hanukkah tradition, Sufganiyot, song? What do you, what do you, what's your favorite part of Hanukkah? Since I grew up, my mom had a really, um, how do you say, it, special connection with this holiday. She never explained me why, but um, this is the holiday I think we focus the most on. And I just, you know, it's just good vibes, you know. In Israel, when I was when I was a kid growing up, you had Sukhaniot everywhere. You have those treats everywhere, the songs, the the menorahs everywhere. So it's just one of my favorite holidays for sure. And um, you know, I'm waiting every year to celebrate it again and again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Last question to Wayne. What's up, Denny? I hope you feel better, man. I just have one quick question for you. Uh, what have you been most proud of individually um, so far up to this season, to this point? Proud of personally or like? No, personally. Personally. Yeah. I've been proud that um, how much I helped the team defensively. I think so. Mm -hmm. It got me bringing energy on the court. Of course, it's going to be ups and downs. In some games, I won't be as good defensively as others, but um, I'm always giving my 100%, playing the hardest I can. And, you know, like just being effective on the court, I think that's the word, just being effective, mm -hmm. you know? So um, just proud of what I'm getting from, the, um, like, this season, like helping the team to win and we're doing good. And I feel like I'm I'm doing better and better every day and proud of it. Yes, sir. Keep up the great work, man, and hope you feel better soon. Thank you, man. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Danny. Appreciate your time. Thank you, guys. Thank you.